Waitaki community is in shock after the death of a 14-year-old girl last night. She died when she was hit by a vehicle on State Highway 1 in Oamaru at about 10.40. Now, support for the family has been flooding in from a community that is reeling from the tragic event. This afternoon, police have charged a man believed to be the driver. Our Otago Southland reporter Tess Brunton filed this report. It's been described as a parent's worst nightmare. A 14-year-old girl dead from a hit and run in the seaside town of Oamaru. St Kevin's College confirmed the girl was a year 10 student at the school. It released a statement online saying the school's chapel has been opened as a safe place for students to meet and grieve. The college says it's been a traumatic day for the school, particularly for students who knew and loved her. Waitaki District Mayor Gary Kircher says many residents would have woken up to the shocking news. It's not really the sort of thing you expect to hear, so I think you know, from what I've seen and heard so far, obviously there's been a, an outpouring of sympathy and sadness for the family and for the victim. And, uh, you know, people have certainly been rallying around and, you know, looking to support each other. Online, there are messages and tributes mourning the teenager's death. In a tribute on social media, a friend said, Rest easy, my girl. Gone way too soon. Sending all of my love to her family and other close friends. Another commenter says it's a parent's worst nightmare and so sad her life was cut so short. Detective Senior Sergeant Rob Hanna says a 30-year-old man has been charged with failing to stop to a certain injury in relation to the crash. He will appear in Oamaru District Court at the next available hearing date. The police haven't ruled out further charges being laid. But what happened and what caused the crash? Mr Kircher hopes the man in custody may be able to help answer these questions. But until the police investigation reaches its conclusion, he says the community will be focused on supporting the victim's family. For the most part, it'll be a time for them to come to terms with it. And you know, for that, really, I think a lot of people just leave them alone and let them get on with it. But, you know, it's really important they know that assistance is there if they need it and uh, people are wanting to help. Waitaki Mental Health Unit Manager Paul Cullen says schools have processes in place to support students in tragic times. But Mr Cullen says the unit will provide additional support for those who need it. Police are appealing for any witnesses in the area to come forward with any helpful information. For Checkpoint, Cortez Brunton-Dane.